Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. And today I'm gonna to walk you through a few examples of how to use MyFitnessPal to calculate the macros for recipes you can find on blogs or recipes that you come up with on your own. So let's get started. Those of you who have been tracking your macros for any amount of time, you will know that sometimes it gets a little confusing to figure out the macros on a meal where it's all kinds of things combined together in one and it's not just chicken or just the vegetable or just the carb source. So I'm going to walk you through some tools that are available to you on MyFitnessPal that you may not already know are there that are simple and easy to use. So stay tuned as we go through this tutorial step by step. I'm going to walk you guys through some examples of how to use some tools in MyFitnessPal in order to be able to calculate the macros off of recipes that you find online. So the way you want to do that is you enter MyFitnessPal, you see all these tabs up across. I recommend doing this on a desktop computer as opposed to on your phone. And if you look here at food, there are different options and you want to go to recipes. That's where we are right now and there is something called a recipe importer. So before there used to be a thing where you had to go in and add the recipe manually as such where you would name the recipe, put the number of servings, type in all of the ingredients, look them up one at a time, match the ingredients, boom you have your recipe. My Fitness Pal has made that easier for you by creating a recipe importer function so all you need to do is type in the URL of the recipe. So what I did here was I found a few recipes online which I thought were interesting, but the problem is these recipes did not include macros and unfortunately you'll find so many great pictures on Pinterest, so many awesome blogs where you'll get great ideas of people who are good at making food look pretty, food taste yummy, but not necessarily good at making sure it fits your macros. What we're trying to do here is take a look at this recipe from the blog called Damn Delicious. So if we scroll down, this looks like a really fun recipe. All right, now the thing is when you find recipes online, you'll see it gives you the prep time, the cook time, the yields, the servings, directions and ingredients, but that's it. It doesn't tell you anything about the macros. This doesn't even tell you anything about the calories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the URL up top here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here into the recipe importer in my fitness pal. Click import recipe and let's see what happens. So what automatically happens, we didn't have to do any of this. We just clicked it. It gives us the recipe name. It automatically populated the number of servings, the ingredients. And now what we do is hit match ingredients and you can see it was able to match every ingredient 100% gave us 285 calories per serving and you just want to kind of go through and double check them and make sure everything makes sense nutritionally you don't want to see something like a tablespoon of ginger which we know is relatively light having like a thousand calories or just something really odd or off oil eggs garlic onions everything looks good and let's say you liked this recipe and you wanted to change something out all you would do let's say you didn't want to put corn you could put edit quantity to change the amount you could replace it with something else or you could simply remove it now I'm gonna hit save here up top and what's gonna happen is it moved this into my recipe box so if I wanted to log this into my fitness pal I could simply log it by clicking this green button here but if we want to know what the macros are you can see them here because it created the nutrition facts for us for this recipe so we are at 285 calories 18 grams of fat 25 carb and 13 protein so let's go through another example so let's look at this recipe paleo grubs which is a addictive and healthy paleo nachos recipe this looks awesome but let's go through guarantee there's no macros here it's just ingredients so let's highlight this recipe hit copy now you can see here 
Addictive and healthy paleo grubs. The number of servings here, it said 100. We certainly know that's not right. So sometimes you just need to double check my fitness pal. Make sure it is not doing anything crazy. Let's go through this recipe real quick and look at the number of servings. Here it says four to six. So let's just, for argument's sake, say five. All right, let's have it match the ingredients. Every ingredient matched up. And if you wanted to make some changes, because you see here that the calories are 516 calories per serving, if that's too high, you can certainly go through, delete some of these things, remove them, change them. I'm going to hit save, and let's take a look at the macros. Again here you could see calories were 516, the fat was 34, carbs 41, protein 23. So if you have any questions or concerns, comment below and check us out on gaugegirltraining.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.